In today's lessons, we'll study some commands like multiple lines, dimensions, and angles, which we've already reviewed in the last exercise. It'll be a great way for us to have a better understanding of this learning. If you haven't watched our previous tutorials and videos, I might suggest you do so. Just click on our channel and go through our list to be better prepared for today's video. First, you might want to open our software. I'll give you a few seconds. Go ahead. Okay, is everything ready? So, ready, set, and let's start by clicking in New Drawing so that we can begin our project from scratch. Remember to habilitate multiple lines. On the right side, we'll use a measurement of 50, like this, and then we'll draw an angled line. I want to remind you that for drawing an angled line, we position our mouse in a way that adds an angle to the thread. Are you done? Awesome! Then we'll insert the angle value or a formula. Click on OK and write the length of that line. Click on OK again. We'll keep doing that in every one of our angled lines, as shown. I know, I know, it might seem a bit tricky right now, but I promise you it will make sense in the long run. Trust me. Keeping our reference as 0 degrees, let's set our angle at 60 degrees and the length of 30. And guys, don't forget to include the parentheses every time we input any formula, right? So inside the parentheses, we'll input 360 degrees minus 60 degrees, which results in 300 degrees. Thank you, Sherlock. <laughs> then we'll add a length of 30. Now we'll add 70 as a horizontal measure, and we'll go up to 120 on vertical. Here we'll input 20 and go down the X Y with a ratio of 100. Just let us know if you're having any difficulties following our instructions, okay? We're here to help you. Leave your comments below so we can make sure you're all following up. Don't be afraid to ask questions. We appreciate them. Having 90 degrees as our reference, add 30 degrees to it, and we'll have 120 degrees as a result. Now, input 50 is the length value, and we're done with this one. Finally, am I right? At this stage of the project, for the similarity of triangles, we'll add an angle of 75 degrees and set the length as 60. On the X, X, we'll input the value as 50, and we'll go towards below with a reference of 270 degrees, adding the formula 270 degrees minus 15 degrees, which will result in 255 degrees. If it doesn't, you're in trouble. Just saying. But don't worry. Just go back a bit in this video, and it'll be okay. That line will have a length of 50, right? Now, we have 90 degrees as a reference, so let's add 15 degrees to it. It will result in 105 degrees, with a range of 50. Did it work? Back to axe X. We'll set the measurement to 50, and go down a line with 285 degrees of angle. In this case, we'll arrange the formula to 270 degrees plus 15 degrees, so it matches our 285 degrees, now with a length of 75. We then select Endpoint, using that line to close its geometry. Next, we select Finish and confirm those values. For an ending, let's erase some values that are not necessary in our drawing, okay? Like this. Come on, a piece of cake, right? I bet you can do it with your eyes closed. And we are done. We can add some other lines that are lacking so it can be more similar to our referenced image. It doesn't matter if your design isn't exactly like our reference. Practice makes perfect, so don't worry if it doesn't really match it at first. Just do your best and keep practicing. You will get there, and you'll get even better. It wasn't that hard, was it? With practice, it will be more and more natural to add, switch, and determine those values. You can trust me on that. Soon enough, you'll be able to do many more features and designs if you keep up with our lessons and tips. And, of course, keep on doing exercises to practice and push yourself to more challenging designs. And that's our lesson for today, my friends. Did you have much trouble creating it yourself, or was it easy-peasy? Let us know in the comments below. We upload weekly tutorials and videos, and they might help you with your journey on CAD and 3D designing. Well, guys, that's it for today. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to receive our alerts for our weekly training videos.